Gigum247.com. Taylor here. I'm here at Houston Nike ESPN Rise event. Um, here with DeAndre Skinner, 2013 Patterson, Louisiana wide receiver and tight end, huh? Yes, Talk about just today's events and how, how you felt like uh, you performed against some really good I competition. Mean, like, um, I did great compared to all the juniors they had out here, and I came out here and I competed. I met new players. It was fun. It was real fun. What's your current height weight nowadays, man? Um, I'm 6'2", 209. 6'2", 209. Where, where do you want to get to uh, in the offseason? Is it kind of, if you're going to be a tight end, you feel like you need to put on some more weight? Uh, I'm trying to get to at least like 220. 220? Yeah. <laughs> where do you, oh, I mean, you felt like you, you performed pretty well against oh, the yes, DBs. Sir. Um, You know, kind of just describe your game right now because I know you're a guy that can kind of fit in a couple of different areas. Yes, I mean, I did good. Like, I came out here and I ran my routes well and everything. That's about it. Is there a receiver you kind of compare your game to? Um, no, not really. Not I, right now? No, no, right. not yet. Where do you want to play? Do you want to play like outside receiver or do you want to stick at tight end? Stick at tight end. Stick at tight end? Yes, sir. Talk about just kind of the recruiting process right now. What schools are you hearing from? Um, Alabama been sending me letters, Texas A&M, Oregon, Penn State, and LSU. You went to A&M's Elite Day with, with your uh, other teammates from Patterson. Yes, what did you think about that day's event? Um, I like that they have, they have great coaches, great facilities. And then, like, they worry about the education more than they do football, and that's a great thing, too. And, uh, like, they have a great program that they run, too, so I like everything. Over there. They give you any idea where you stand with a possible offer? Oh, no, not yet. No, okay. Sir. Kind of just taking the time with, with the entire process mm -hmm. right now. Um, talk about some of the other schools recruiting you. Alabama, LSU, obviously, in your backyard. What do you think about the Tigers? Um, they have a lot of great players on the team. Mm -hmm. And, like, like one of my uh, old players from last year, can you hear you? It's like he went there and uh, like lost a little weight, got more muscle, like they work hard in the weight room and stuff like that. So that's a good thing that they do everything well. Is there any one or two schools kind of sticking out to you early on in the process? Uh, Texas A&M and Alabama. What is it about those two schools? Uh, Texas A&M, just like I said, yeah. they have a great education and everything. And Alabama, they have great players, great coaches. I like that's a good thing too. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, okay. um, finally. When when do you, would you like to have the process of you know kind of wrapped up? I know some kids kind of like to get it done early so they can focus on their season. Some like to you know kind of let it draw out, take all the visits. Where do you stand in that category? Um, like I'm just go work on try to go visit more schools so so like I can find out where I stand at in the program and stuff like that so I can get the eye on what school I'm gonna go to when I'm a senior. So that's about it. What's, what's, what's your on. plans for the rest of the summer? You got any more camps? Um, I really don't know yet. I'm still working on that. So. Okay, I know your teammates are possibly coming to the A&M camp uh, this summer. Is that something you might be interested in? Yeah, I might go too. Okay. Yes, Great. Well, I appreciate the time. Stick to gigum247.com for your latest Texas A&M news.